What's up everyone, DNA Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So we are running the Prestige Cup with the Jaguar CX75. So we're gonna try and get this video busted out really quick because in about two hours, they're gonna be turning off the electricity. So I gotta run through this thing, put it all in the editor, get everything up to the right volumes, get this done. I'm probably just gonna do it this in 720p because it'll upload much faster. And yeah. We're going to find out what the last speed trap, the last sprint race, the final times, and all that good stuff are. So if you can find out if your car is going to be fast enough to beat the Prestige Cup or not. So let's go do it to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And thank you guys so much for watching. So we'll be right back with the speed traps and the sprint races so you can see what time those things run. All right, so I think this is race number 17, and we got a 187 mile per hour speed trap. So... In order to beat whatever race this is right here, I think it was number 16 or 17, you got to do 187 miles per hour or faster. All right, I did 280. Pretty easy. We'll be right back. Let me pause this thing. Yeah, respect points. All right. All right, here we have our first 0 to 100 sprint race. I do believe in 3, 2, 1, go go so let's see what time we have to do a zero to 100 and that was easy we did it in 1.6 and he did 2.383 so you're gonna see something around 2.3 maybe 2.4 and that was race number 19 i do believe so we'll be back with some more speed tra traps sprint races and the final times all right here we have a speed trap of 214 miles per hour so your car is going to have to do over 214 to beat this speed trap right here and yeah i'm not really sure if i'm going to be able to do my live stream on friday or not because we may or may not have electricity because they're going to be doing all kinds of i don't know re repair line electricity thingies so there was race number 22 of 214 miles per hour we'll be right back with some more races all right so we're gonna go ahead and run through the last couple of races now if you don't know how to drive or tune this car or any of that good stuff i did put up a how to drive and review video on this a couple of days ago so you might want to look that up if you're interested i don't even think i'm driving the car right because i've already forgotten how to do it and like i said i'm kind of in a hurry today because the electricity is going to go out they say 7 a.m. Right now it's 5 a.m., but it usually does take me about two hours, even on a simple video, between recording it and then putting on the editor and messing with this and that and changing this and doing this and that thing and making the thumbnails, the tags, the titles, the descriptions, the thingy dingies. It usually ends up being at least two hours per video. Even a, even a simple 10-minute video takes me at least two hours, like minimum and i mean some of them like how to drive videos take more time than that because there's all the playing with the car and figuring out how to drive it and yeah some of these videos can take you know two three four five six hours to make a lot of people don't really understand that a 10 minute video or a 15 minute video or even a five minute video can be very very time consuming and then I usually spend two, three, four hours a day answering comments on YouTube. And then I got to get on the Discord, the line app. I'm going to tell you, between my three YouTube channels, I normally put in somewhere between 10 and 15 hours, seven days a week. And then there's, you know, I actually live stream for about two hours every day. And that usually takes about two and a half hours out of my time. Sometimes longer, depending on what's going on. But yeah, YouTube is awesome. But man, it is time consuming. I love it. I love making videos for you guys, teaching you all about the game, showing you this, showing you that, showing you the other thing. But good lord, I spend a lot of time on the YouTube. <laughs> all right. But I actually love answering everybody's comments and all that stuff. When people ask questions, I do my best to try and find as many of them as I can. I'm sure I miss a bunch of them. And, you know, if, if, you, were, if you ask a question and I reply and you reply back... YouTube pretty much never tells me. And due to the fact that I usually have like, you know, 100, 200, 300 comments coming in every day on this channel and a couple hundred on the other channel. Yeah, it's very, very, very hard to find all the comments. But if you leave a new comment, I always do my best to try and reply and answer your guys' questions. All right, so here comes the last race, guys. 
Here comes the last race, so we're going to find out exactly how fast your car needs to be or in the ballpark range because there's definitely a there's definitely a discrepancy here. I can't find the right word, but some cars are going to run a little faster, some cars are going to run a little slower. So you might get a different car that runs a tenth of a second faster, maybe a tenth of a second slower, but this will give you a really good idea of around how fast your car is going to need to be to finish this last race. I, I don't think I have all the stage six parts. I think I maybe have like three of them. We'll look at that in a second. But that guy ran a 9.172. So you're probably looking to run in the 9.1s or my 9.2s in order to beat race number 30 there and finish the Prestige Cup. So if you want, we'll go check out. I mean, if you want or not, we're still going to do it. Ha ha. Let's go check out how many parts I have on this car. All right, so it looks like I currently have most of the stage six parts. I'm missing a turbo, I'm missing the intake, and all the other stage six parts are installed. So I actually have more car, more parts on this car than I realized that I did. So this car is pretty highly upgraded right now. So if you look at this, I actually have 40 out of 42 and 117 out of the 128 fusions. So yeah. That's a pretty, pretty highly upgraded car. So that explains why that one was so easy. Normally, you're probably going to need at least two or three stage six parts. Most of the time, two can get you by if you get the good ones. Sometimes you need three. But anyways, I better get this thing on the editor, make sure the volumes are correct, do whatever I need to do, cut out any bad parts if there are any, and yeah. Catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop down in the video description. You'll see my YouTube channels, my Discord server, my other stuff, my other things. All kinds of junk. Some ways to help this channel out if you enjoy this video and you want to send a tip or anything. Yeah. Later. Catch you. Bye. Goodbye. Danny Lightning out. I don't know what I just said there, but it was all messed up.